Hey, quit laying down on the job and get to work. <laughs> Hi, guys. Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plaster. Today, we're going to show you how to skim coat this foundation here, as well as fix that concrete hole. The products I'm going to use is a stucco patch. You could paint it in two hours. And I'm going to use this cement awl. The cement awl is for that uh, hole right here. And, and guys, check this out. We had a lot of people say, hey, we, we love how you're teaching how to do videos. Guys, we do how-to videos, but we show how we do things. You guys don't have to do it our way. We just show how we do things. Anyway, can you use regular stucco to uh, repair this? Sure you can. But this rapid set mortar, I mean, this is rapid set. Now, this right here, I'm going to dig some of this out. I want to make it look like an iceberg. You know, iceberg, a little bit on top, a lot on the bottom. We're going to dig some of this dirt out. We're going to uh, then use this cement all. Why? Because it has the structural strength of like 3,000 pounds the first day. And after 28 days, 5,000 pounds. Does that matter? Not really, because the... The chimney over here, you can see, it's a hundred-year-old house. It has not settled. The chimney is not cracked away from here, so it's not moving. Anyway, this is overkill, but that's how we do things, guys. That's why we show what we do. You guys do it whatever way you want. Now, because he said, well, Kirk, I want to paint this this week because it's an eyesore, I'll just switch to this. Now, Rapid set says you could go ahead and paint within two days I mean let it set two days rather and then you could paint this and of course this is water resistant too so what we're gonna do is <laughs> just yesterday Jay and I were driving home from a job and I stopped and I looked at this and I told the guy well what I'll do is that's just a little bitty patch I mean look at this little bitty patch there's a couple more here and there I said man I'll just use some elbow grease because I don't want to bring my uh, big compressor and we're driving home and Jay says, you know, Dad, I heard what you said. I said, what part? He says, well, I'm going to use some elbow grease. I said, yeah? He says, well, what I heard was Jason's going to use some elbow grease. And it'll take him about a half hour to scrape this down right here, scrape this down. He says, man, it'll take me five minutes to put that pressure washer on. Now, that pressure washer's 3,400 PSI. And with this turbo tip, that guy right there makes it about 4,000 PSI. So when we hit this, what it'll do is it'll get all the dirt. It'll take the paint off. It'll take the, the rubber off a boot if you just hold it down on it. But it'll micro etch this so that when we put a bonding agent on here, it'll set and then our material will set on this and it'll last forever. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take uh, this... Uh, Bulldog, or what is this, the Milwaukee Roto, and we're going to pop these edges off. See, like, right here? Of course, when I, when I hook that up, you can see what it's going to do. It'll just... That'll get our lip off. Then we're going to um, dig that hole out. We are going to pressure wash this, get all the dust, dirt, grime off it, because a bonding agent is only as good as what's applied over. Then we'll show you how we go ahead and patch it up with this rapid set and I'm actually going to hit the cement all rapid set too to give it the same finish guys and this by the way is the exact same finish we're just going to clean it up so when they paint this it'll match this we'll show you when we get there All right, guys, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to put this rod right here and use my knee to hold it. And they got me a little bit of mud mixed up. And this stuff hardens in like <laughs> five minutes. So I'm going to take what I need and just throw it on. 
The hardened is five minutes, guys. And we got a uh, half a bucket here. That's the account for that uh, iceberg look. Doesn't look like much, but it's uh, like an iceberg. So we're gonna come up here, come up here, and when it starts, this is wet too, by the way. It's got a bonding agent on it. Okay, let me get some more of this stuff out of here. I'm just gonna plop it right here. Plop it right here. Oh, oh, what a mess. Oh, how could you do that? Because it's going right in here. Okay. There's a side over here that you can't see that I'm filling up too. Come on now. All right. Now, just for the sake of this is going to get stucco here, but can I finish using this uh, cement? Oh, sure I can. Sure we could. A little wet, and that's okay. If it's a little wet, guys, just have a little patience, and it'll dry up, especially right here where it's an inch and a half thick. It will set. Now, what I want to do is pull this off. Blam! Magic. Put it on this side. Now, you'd have to come over here, Jay, to see this. But for you folks who want to see this other side, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. And this is already getting hard, guys. So do I need this Darby? Not really. It could fall now. Because if it falls, look at that. That's stiff now, guys. You might say, do you need all that? Sure I do. I'm going to take it and push it in there. I want to push it all the way to the back. Get it all the way inside there. Get in there. Get in there. And it doesn't matter if this comes out. I want this to come out because I'm pushing this in. If I'm pushing this in, it's going to push that out. That's okay. Now that I got this filled up, I'm going to put this... Darby, you could use a 2x4 straight edge. It doesn't matter, guys, what you use. And push this right back. And since I have some extra, I'm going to take this extra right here. Drop it right there. And just put this on here like so. And we're going to give this about... 10 more minutes. You guys want to listen to me talk for 10 whole minutes? We'll come back and show you this one. It's hard. I'll show you how we do this texture. And you guys might say, well, why the heck are you going to do that when you have cement all here? Cement all has silica sand. This is the same sand as this. So this rapid set, same day stucco or stucco, this got 1620 sand. What the heck is 1620 sand? Heavy sand. It's like, <laughs> I told the guy, I said, well, don't worry, man. You don't have to worry about us doing weird stuff like that. And he says, you know what? I've been here 10 years. I've never noticed that. I thought, well, I don't have much to please you with then if it doesn't match. <laughs> Anyhow, let me show you guys how to match this stuff. Now this rapid set, it's, uh, you can paint it in the same day or 24 hours later, they say. Now, this is smooth, but that's made for strength. And the strength is, is what I'm looking for. Now, we already hit this with a bonding agent. So what we do is we put on some of this. Now, this stuff here, it's just, uh, it's stucco. Now, let's see here. We just keep on going. And what we are doing is I'm going in, into the transition. I'll show you how we feather that in, too, in a second. Funny weather. It's almost like we're in Michigan here. Started off, it was 40 degrees. We were freezing our butts off. And right now it's about 75, 30 degree difference. Hey, that's Michigan kind of weather. Anyway, right here where it's, I just applied it 10 minutes ago, I don't want to break my pack, which means I'm going to try to go gently because that still needs a little bit of time before it sets. I'll show you guys a little trick here. 
I don't want to break that corner either, so I'm going to put this here, reinforce it, pull it up. Beautiful. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, guys, is continue on my merry way here. Now I need one more hawk full to finish this. So what I do here is take my handy dandy bucket scoop and take the little bit we have in here out. Looks like Jay mixed me up just about right. So that's all the mud we got, but that's all the mud we need. Anyway, again back to the weather. It's mighty warm now where just a little while ago it was dang cold. Jay says, oh, I see how it is. I give you a shirt and you wear it to work. That's because I didn't have to buy this shirt. Jay, Jay and Sarah actually sell these shirts online. And I kind of like it because it says, live long and plaster. Okay, guys, so we got it right here. I need a crumb of stucco. Do I got a crumb of stucco left? Absolutely. I'm going to fill that up and then I'll show you guys how we bring the sand or aggregate out of this. Guys, who's the best? Kirk's the best. Okay, guys, last thing we got to do is float the wall. This is a sponge float and we what we do is we take this new joint into the existing joint. We kind of wet the sponge. See all that wah wah? Okay. Then we if I start at the bottom it's gonna leak all over their brand new pavers. We don't want to mess up their brand new pavers. So what we do is I put water on here and I'm gonna start from the middle. I'm still gonna and I'm putting the float flat just like you snowboarders do when you're looking for speed put that board flat I'm putting the putting it flat putting it flat putting it flat now what I'm doing is coming up now I'll take it sideways take it sideways take it sideways not too much water because I don't want to get it all over this brick and can anybody see two things still got to be done Number one, I still got to clean the, the new pavers. What we do is we take this bucket of clean water, clean the float, dip it here, come all the way flat again, do it once, twice, clean it off, flip it around, do it, get all that sand and gunk off, tap it out, hit it again, right close. Then you can use the hose to get it here. That way you don't knock it off. So the last thing, you guys tell the difference between this and that. Now this has got the heavy aggregate, the heavy sand 1620, rapid set got 1620. If you guys want to find sand, well if you want fine sand, I'll write in the description what to buy for at HD or Lowe's. It's, the sand is different. So one other thing to match this, this is 100 years old. The house has been painted figure 10 times in 100 years. Ten, once every 10 years so because it's so smooth and they got all these patches where cracks were just take your trial now just come on it and smooth some of the aggregate out that's all you do guys that's all you do and that's what they did now it matches when they paint this a little bit better and if you see a lip like I got a lip right there tap it out and just redo that little old piece and how do you redo that little old piece just like that in fact I might see another little piece but anyway guys you see how that's done there's nothing to it if you know how to do it and if you don't know how to do it remember guys we do these videos not to teach somewhat to teach but to show you how we do things my name is Kirk Jason on the camera we thank you guys for watching and as usual we'll see you on the next one all right folks we want to thank you all for watching if you enjoy the videos that we put out please like and subscribe so that we can keep making these videos for everybody and as always from the, from the entire, entire Giordano family, family we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one, one.